Ryan from Beaverton U-Haul. Today we're going to be putting a hitch on a Honda HRV. Let's get started. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. Our next step is to mark and measure the underbody paneling. Um, so I did that already um, according to the directions, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Alright, so next I need to lower the exhaust on the passenger side. I need to take these two hangers down here. I'm going to use a little bit of lubricant and my exhaust pliers to take that down. Our exhaust is down. You can see here this is where our hitch is going to sit on this uh, the hitch footprint. Um, this is going to be in our way so we're going to bend it down a little bit just so it can sit flat there. Our access hole is going to be back here and now we're going to fish wire our hardware into the hole. Okay so this is the hardware that um, comes in the kit. This is for your passenger side and this is for your driver's side. I'm going to show you how uh, the driver's side works. So there's going to be an access hole up there. You're going to take this fish wire that it comes with um, up through the hole that you want that bolt to go into um, and push it through into that access hole. And then you'll take this here, go through that block and you'll twist it on and you'll pull the, the bolt and that block through that access hole and it'll sit flat in that hole that you want it to so that you can mount your hitch um, with the hardware. be using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack to help me put this up into place. If you do not have one of these, I would recommend getting a second person. The hitches can be heavy. Uh, before you get it too high, make sure you put that fish wire through the hitch hole there. and then you can raise your hitch into position. I'm gonna show you how this passenger side works here. Um, you're gonna take this here, it's gonna go up through that access hole, it's sitting flat there, and then you'll screw this into it. There, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So just as a tip, you can bend the ends so you don't lose the spoon nut in the frame when you're, uh, you're putting it up there. So now I'm gonna put the, the bolt with the, the tooth washer up there. Got it. Sometimes these can be a little tricky. You just gotta be patient with it and eventually you'll get it. 
All right, back on the driver's side, we're, here's the, we're gonna put these two up here. We got a, a tooth washer and then a nut. I'm gonna pull down this, our uh, fish wire here really quick. And then be careful you don't push that um, bolt into the frame there. It's pretty hard to get back out. So now I need to put the U-bolt around the tow hook up here. Oops. And I'm gonna put the hardware on there. So it'll be the flat washer, the lock washer, and then it'll be that, that bolt. All right, so I got those in position now. So now all we have to do left is we just have to torque everything down. With these two in the middle, it's gonna be 30, and then on the either side, it's gonna be 50. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. For these middle ones, it's gonna be a 17 millimeter socket. And just make sure that when you're doing it, you're gonna make it even, that way one side's not shorter than the other there. So now I'm over here on the passenger side. I'm gonna use a 19 millimeter socket to torque this down. So now we're on the driver's side. I'm gonna use a five inch extension with an 18 millimeter socket. Now finally, we just gotta put the exhaust back up and then we'll be done. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of lubricant and helps it slide back onto those um, exhaust hangers a little bit easier. There we go. Now that we have that up, our hitch is complete. I'm gonna show you a few of the features before we go here. Uh, we have a one and a quarter inch receiver here, and then we have two safety chain hooks. I hope you enjoyed our video, have a great day. So a couple important measurements that you're gonna need is from the ground to the top of the receiver, that's 13 and a half inches. That'll help you pick out a ball mount or anything that you'll need to tow. Another one you'll need is from the pinhole to the back of the bumper, that's going to be three and a half inches. That'll help you um, with clearing anything that you have a vertical accessory for. To learn more about the product seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.